So today I'm going to answer a question that I got as part of my drone training program and uh, I couldn't really answer it so I am set myself out to try it out today. And this is related uh, to, uh, yeah, to waypoints and the question was basically if it was possible to do like a helix uh, around a tower so you can follow it from the base. So basically if I just fly it so I can show you what it is that he means. So if you could fly around the tower like this and then basically just following it up. And it's very, very hard to do smooth. I think I'm succeeding <laughs> quite nicely here. But he's asking if this is possible to do this kind of motion using waypoints. So um, of course we should try that. And I know it's possible because I already did it. As I was providing a video for this guy, for the gentleman that was providing the question, but I made that one Danish. So I decided to, yeah, let's just do another one just to show you how to jinx everything. <laughs> I probably screw it up. <laughs> so I just stop this. Yeah. So what I do now is I will enable the waypoints here. So uh, I have uh, for my disposal, I have, uh, is it called disposal? That's when you throw stuff away. But I have these two buttons on the back of the remote, the C1 and C2. And those I can use to set waypoints. So if I just go in here and I point the cross of the screen towards the mill, and the mill here in this case is, is going to represent our tower. So maybe I should just go further down. That'll make it even more cool. So I do this. So I set my first waypoint here. So I just use the C1 to do that. If I want to remove it, I can press C2. So if I set it wrongfully, uh, I could uh, just remove it with C2. So now I use the C1. So what we do now is we move to another position here, maybe uh, something like this. And then we increase the height a little bit. And then we set another waypoint. And then we move to another location here on our, yeah, tower. <laughs> Let's go up to half the way up here, like this. Set another one. And then we are moving. You probably need to mess a little bit around with this to get it really nice. So there, again, put the cross towards the center of our virtual tower here, so like this, set another one. And then, not getting the drone too far away, we will end up in a position like this. And we just move it to the hub of the nacelle, I think it's called, of the wind turbine. There, and we set the final one. So now we have uh, our mission set. So uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to press next. And uh, right now it will be doing it with 2.5 meters per second. It will return to home at the end of the flight. On lost signal, it will also return to, um, yeah, uh, return to home. And uh, we are going to start the uh, video at the uh, waypoint number one. So right now it's moving back to the starting position. I know you can set uh, set it to start the video automatically uh, upon its uh, entering uh, waypoint one. But uh, for this experiment, uh, as we're just going to see if it can follow the path, I will just start it manually. And the wind is very strong here today. So that might also influence uh, the result, but the weather is beautiful. Beautiful. So now it's going down and then it will uh, yeah turn around and face the wind turbine. And it will start executing the mission. So we'll just start the video from here. So, 
So we have to imagine this is our church tower here. So what it's doing now, it's climbing. And this is, uh, is, is actually pretty cool because uh, you can do very no nice automated flight. And you just saw that I was capable of uh, flying this uh, manually. But uh, the problem with that is that uh, I would most likely not be able to repeat it. <laughs> so if you want to, I don't know, uh, document the progress of a, a building plot or something like that, and these uh, waypoints, they are pretty brilliant for, for doing that. So see? So this is uh, this is fully fully automated. I actually think it's doing a pretty nice job. And you can see we are getting the strong wind warning, and that's probably also why the mill is not completely in the center of uh, the frame. But you kind of get the point here. So we're setting all these uh, waypoints to do, 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 on a yeah on a helix path. We could have increased the uh, the the distance to the tower, uh, decreased it. So we you can do a lot of uh, exciting uh, stuff there uh, to make this look really really cool. So the answer to the uh, gentleman from my course, uh, Drone Like a Pro, uh, that asked if he could use the drone to uh, yeah, rotate around uh, the tower automatically using waypoints, the short reply to that question is that is indeed possible, as I've just shown in this video. And now it's going back, and uh, when we are messing with wind turbines, <laughs> we better make sure that it doesn't uh, collide with the, the blades uh, on the way back. But I can see it from here, so it's, it's behaving nicely. So this is very nice, very nice, very, 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 very nice. And we are not doing uh, any crazy stuff today, landing on the roof or stuff like that, because it's really, really windy. Let's see. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Oh. This is too risky today. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Let's just see. So we just finished the waypoint mission here. So if I want to repeat it again, I can go in here and I can say uh, save and exit. So in this way, I can always repeat the mission. And then now I can see if I can make it. Ay, 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 ay. Nah, we're not doing this today. I can I don't have a good feeling with that. <laughs> you can see. I'm gonna show you why. See. So even though it's pretty cool to land on the roof, there's no reason to uh, No reason to do stupid stuff. I do want to keep the drone. <laughs> You're probably wondering what this is. This is a Bluetooth speakers. It's very nice <laughs> set of kit. All right. So 
So this was a super nice test. Do you have anything else that you would like me to uh, try out? Like, I don't know. If you have an idea for that, then let me know in the comments below. And uh, I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you on the next one.